Hello everyone, Morp here, and welcome back to our Bobblehead series, showing every single location of all the Bobbleheads in the Wasteland. Here we are with episode number 6 for the Cranberry Bog. Definitely make sure you guys click like and subscribe and do all that fun free YouTube stuff. So there will be a link here to the Mapalachian map for all the locations, but let's get started. Our first one up is the Appalachian Antiques, and this one is going to have two bobbleheads. We're going to be going up here, and this is going to be right next to the bedpost under yonder. Alright, and our next one's going to be outside on the roof. Now, as with all of these videos, these are all done alphabetically. This is kind of set up like a reference guide. And these are only going to be including all the ones that are outside. And there's going to be no interiors like the solo, the silos, or like the uh, expeditions or stuff like that. But anyway, we are here at the Bootlegger Shack. There are two. This one's right here. And as you can hear, I am using the Perceptible Bobble perk, which makes a sound when there's one close. Highly suggest doing that. That was a locked door down there, so you will need to unlock that guy. Alright, so next up we have Crimson Prospect. Lots of dudes to shoot here. Um, if you are here, there are two bobbleheads. The first one's going to be up on top. And also, as with all the other guides, I am showing how to get up here without using the jetpack. So a lot of these places will obviously be a lot easier. You can just kind of jump and fly up there. But I do want to, thought I'd add this little way here around the stuff. Alright, so this next one's going to be right over here. Boom. Okay, so next up we have Dropside V9, which everyone's familiar with doing the Queen. So next time you come in here, next time you do a Queen fight, come right down here and it'll be right smackaroni. Boom. Okay, so next up we have the Firebase Hancock. Come on over here. Sometimes the um, that, if, if that event had been popped up over here, um, and those missile launchers going, sometimes, you know, it, it might blow the bottle head in really weird spots, so it might not always be right there. Same thing here with Firebase Major, but otherwise it should be popped up right and pretty right there. And also, if you guys haven't watched the videos, these obviously took many, many, many server hops, so um, they will probably not be there every single time. And also, if you guys don't know, Bobbleheads and magazines and things like that are not uh, affected by loot table the same way. So let's say like I come up here and I pick up this bobblehead agility. There's actually 20 bobbleheads that can spawn in that spot. So if I picked up the agility there and came back to another server, you know, one of the other ones could still pop up. So anyway, here we are at Alpha, one station Alpha, right here. Maybe. Alright, so next up we are going to go back over to Ford Station Delta, another possible spot for doing the Queen. There are two locations here. One of them is a little tricky to see here. This one's just right smackaroony, right? Kind of there. The same thing with the other one, it's kind of tucked by a little ammo crate right over here. And yeah, depending on if the Queen's been nearby, some of these can be knocked all, all around. Alright, so next up we have Lost Home. So there are two here. This is also my favorite place to farm the scavenger trader instead of doing the responder bot. So you can find the, the correct trader there. Selling the hunter's long coat and all that fun stuff. So you got the first one here. And also if you guys are wondering, I did not include all the magazines in this one because this, this video series would be a little bit too confusing. So I'm just sticking with bobbleheads for this one. Alright, next up we have Max Farm. Great place to farm cranberries. And there will be a Myler Queen that you might uh, spawn right over there. Anyway, we got right here and boom. Okay, so next up we have the NAR Repair Yard. There's actually going to be two locations here, but I did do them separately. For this one, the uh, bubble is going to be right up in here. So there's an unmarked location right next door that's part of Kind of like an un unmarked, um, not really a quest, but a little series of stuff that you can do right over here. And it's called Neighboring Homesteads. You won't see it on the map. And I did include, I did not include like the whole thing in the video of showing how to get into this door because it, it just generates a one-time code. Uh, but there will be a link in the description to how to open that door. But otherwise, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can just jump right over here if you do have a jetpack. But if you don't have a jetpack, 
you'll be, you'll have to click on the link in the description, and every time you go there, you'll have to get a new code and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so next up, we are going to be going over here, and it's just right up here on top. Boom. All right, so next next up we have Pilot V9. Now this one's going to be right directly ahead of you. So when you do load in, if you hear it, you can't find it. It's because it's it's you know four or five stories above you. So you're going to make your way up here. You go to the broken down little train thingy. All right. Once you get in here, you're going to go down the very end and off to the left in the little pilot car or whatever you call it. Boom. Okay, so next up we have the Quarry X3. It's another spot for a Mylar Queen. If you wanted to go and use those to test weapons and stuff like that like I do. And come over here to the little work trailer thing right ahead of us here. Pop right in and... Boom. Okay, so we're moving on to the Ranger Lookout and the Ranger District Office. I kept these as one location because they're per they have the same fast travel and they're both R, so it, it just worked out good here. So the Ranger Lookout here is going to go up in the top. It's going to be up at the top of this Lookout Tower. Sitting right, smackaroonie. Boom. You can jump down if uh, I always break my legs sometimes. It is a little bit too high. You're going to make your way and it's going to be in the office, right off this little offshoot here. You go right in and right to the first right there. Wham and bite. Okay, so moving on to the Sacramento Glade. So if you guys are doing the Beast of Burden event, you can come here and check it. It's just past where all the action is. There's like a little, oh, whatever you want to call it here, a little patio thingy. It's just going to be popping right up. Over here. Boom. There you go. Alright, next up we have the Survey Camp Alpha. And coming over here. Also another fan, different event. You know, could knock this over. But most times it seems fine. See it standing up. Boom boom. Alright, next we have the General Steakhouse. There are two here. A bunch of super mutants are gonna have to fight through. And if you do have a jetpack, you can just jump up and get the last one here on the roof. Or you can run up here and grab this one first. I'll show you a little way here to wriggle, wiggle around the house. You go out here and then up. This one's going to be kind of right by where magazine location is. That's the magazine to the left there. And here is the bobblehead. Okay, so up next we have the thorn. Lots of locations in here that have these big missile things that can knock them off, but we got lucky in all this footage of finding them standing up. Alright, so this one is Watoga. There's a bunch of locations here, but I went ahead and just kept them separated, you know, just to make it easier. So when you go down in the description and look at the timestamps, you can go to the specific one. I did that instead of trying to edit this all around to do a big run around. Anyway, this first one is Watoga States, and it is right there. Alright, next up is the Watoga High School. When you come in to the fast travel, you're going to be going up the staircase here. And it's going to be up on the roof. Also, if you are a magazine hunter as well, you can keep going straight. There's a magazine off over to the right there. Okay, so here, next we're going to be going to the Watoga Shopping Plaza. This one's real close to where the fat travel is. Just walk past where the vendor is there and right inside here next to a cash register. And boom. Okay, so up next we do have the Watoga uh, Transit Hub. And there are two bottle heads in here. So the first one you're going to go in here and it's going to be right off to the right. You kind of crouch down underneath there. And boom. So next one, this will be a locked door. And you, you can open up. No, I already pre previously opened up before. And then we're going to be right smackaroonie. Right there. 
All right, everybody, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to stick around and click the link. But I do want to give a big thank you to More Uptown. we got Bump Face Jim, Crazy Town, Christina, and Wendy, as well as all the members of Team More. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and doing all the recording of all these this footage of the hundreds of hours. And also, thank you, everyone, in support and entry. All right, we'll collect this link for the playlist of all the other locations. And thank you guys very much for joining, and we will see you guys out there in the wasteland.